So DIY solar, you're wondering if that's what you should do. I'm gonna tell you about my system. I've had it for about a year and a half. I've been upgrading slowly over time. I still got some upgrades I need to do, but I have been able to run my house fully off of uh, solar and the batteries for the last several days. So, you know, I'm partially off grid. Sometimes I'm gonna be on grid, sometimes I'm gonna be off grid. But hey, I'm gonna tell you some reasons that you may wanna do your solar yourself and the reasons you may not wanna do it. Let's get into it. All right, number one, I'm gonna talk about my system real quick and tell you what I got and go over that. And then I'll explain to you how it's been doing for me and the reasons you might, might wanna go with some DIY solar and do it yourself. Basically, I have uh, 28 panels right now. They're solar errors, 440 or 445 watt panels. So I have about 12.4K, we're just gonna say 12 kilowatts uh, solar array. Then I have about 50 kilowatt hours of batteries. I have basically nine of the EG4, uh, uh, LiPo4, um, 5.1, whatever it is, kilowatt hour battery. So I'm just gonna say five kilowatts. And I have one Jackber. I do not recommend Jackber. Do not get that battery, in my opinion. You know, hey, you may have some right now that may be working fine, but I've just had bad problems with the software, the hardware. I've had several problems. Don't recommend it. So then I have three of the GrowWatt, the ES 5000s. So the 5K inverters, you can probably see them in the background back here. I got three of those. So I got 15K of inverting power and each of those will take 6,000 watts of solar. So I only have two of them running right now. One of them doesn't have any solar on it. That's one thing I want to upgrade here in the future. And then of course, these GrowWatt inverters are 240 volts. So you need an auto transformer to give it a split phase for your 120 um, outlets and your 120 appliances and it, whatever else you want to use this 120 lights. So how am I liking it so far? Um, I, I'm liking it. Even when I started out and I had a smaller system, I, I liked having power for number one i'm gonna tell you a reason why for emergencies i mean you know when the power goes out hey who doesn't want to have power you know i want my family to be able to have basically a normal time as possible when there's either a natural disaster or some other kind of uh, emergency going on where we need power just to do the daily activities that you're going to do you know every day just normal things so basically my system over the last what's today day is it's wednesday night so i've been running off grid completely since Sunday so about three and a half days are running completely off grid and I've been averaging when it's sunny about 83 kilowatt hours a day out of that 12 kilowatt or 12.4 kilowatt uh, solar array so I think I've been doing pretty good and it's April right now so it may do better as you know we get deeper into the summer we'll see what it actually gets in the middle of the summer because I've never been able to see what it actually do because I didn't have enough batteries. So basically we're charging my batteries all the way up then I wouldn't use enough power to see what my total output would be. And now that I have enough batteries to basically make it run all day with the power I'm using in the house and then charging these batteries, I can kind of see what the maximum amount I'm gonna get. And for the last three days, that's been 83 kilowatt hours. And then Sunday, it was partially cloudy. I think I got 63 or 68 or something like that kilowatt hours i'd have to go back and look number two the second reason you, you may want to do the diy solar is the cost if you get a professional to install this stuff it's gonna be very expensive when you can start out on your own and buy one thing at a time you can go out and buy just the inverter then you can go buy the battery then you can go buy some solar panels i would definitely highly recommend at least getting the inverter and a battery and then you keep that battery charged and if your power goes out hey at least you have some power you have to use that one battery to power some lights and maybe refrigerator freezer you know the minor things that you know need to be powered so you don't lose anything and lose any money lose any food and then you can upgrade that later on and buy the solar panels because you can always take that battery and charge it with a generator you know you just have a charger 48 volt charger and charge the battery from a generator so you know at night you can run without a generator on in the daytime for a few hours a day run your generator to charge your battery back up third reason the most important reason to me is just to be more self-sufficient with everything crazy going on in the world today hey you never know what's going to go on with the power grid look what happened in north carolina what last year was it last year or the year before i think it was last year when the, somebody shot some of the transformers or whatever they are substations and like half the county or something didn't have power i mean that was just crazy there people were out, out power for like a week and you know People, most people are just not prepared for that kind of thing. So they lost food, you know, so you can lose money that way. A lot of people weren't able to work because businesses were closed. So it just, you know, just bad all around. So you can't work, you don't have any power, you're losing food. So if you do have a little bit of backup power, it's gonna help you out that way. Maybe if you work online or 
whatever, yeah, you can still work. Fourth thing is, hey, eventually, I mean, you can save some money on your power bill over time. That is definitely the furthest thing away from my mind when I was getting my system. I wanted it to protect myself from being without power. Basically, to protect me, protect my family, so I could be more self-sufficient. And if I, over time, save some money on my light bill, hey, I mean, everybody likes to save money, that's fine. You know, definitely not the most important thing to me. I just believe, hey, you never know when your, your power's gonna go out. You know, our grid in the United States is so fragile, people just don't realize it. Hey, you need to start looking this stuff up and, and try to become as self-sufficient as possible when it comes to any of your utilities you have. You know, if you can get a, a well and get a well pump, you don't have to worry about, you know, a utility company for your water, you know, or your power, anything you can get off off grid with hey, do it nobody can be completely off grid people that say they're completely off grid i mean that's a lie unless you're making everything yourself and you're like a a hermit that is making clothes and everything out of from everything you can find in the woods most people aren't doing that let's just keep it real a lot of people are just trying to be as self-sufficient as possible and that's what i'm hoping you know this video can relate to people and maybe that's what you'll be able to do by doing it yourself you'll be able to save some money and become more self-sufficient You'll learn your system. If you have a problem with your system and you build it, you should know how to go fix it. So you're gonna be able to find the problem a lot faster because you're gonna learn during the process of building. So that's one of the most important things you're gonna learn. Everybody needs to learn when you wanna become more self-sufficient and you don't want to rely on somebody else, whether that's a utility company or the government or whatever. To me, it's just fun getting to learn stuff. You know, you can have fun saying, hey, look, I'm getting power from the sun and being able to power my whole house. So some of the reasons I have, the reasons I think, you know, people should try to become more self-reliant and have a DIY solar system. You know, it doesn't have to be as big as mine. It can be bigger than mine. I mean, I consider mine to be small at this point. When you look at a lot of people's systems they have online, they're huge. You know, I have 28 panels. I started out with 12 and added the rest later. So I didn't do it all at one time. I just built it slowly over time and I'm still building it. I like to add a couple more batteries because I do have an electric car. So when I get home from work at night, I need to charge it. So that's gonna deplete my batteries down a lot because I have 50 kilowatt hours. So let's say I'm using 20 kilowatt hours just to charge my car back. So maybe 10 more kilowatt hours, 10 to 20. I just gotta do some testing to see how it does. When it gets really hot here in the summer, I'm gonna have to see how much that drains my batteries down at night. Right now in April, I'm able, when the sun's out during the day, you know, I have decent sun, I'm able to run all day and, and all night. So we just have to see how it goes. I'll be putting out some more videos on that, how my system's doing and the exact specs and showing you everything. If you're interested in that, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.